Police are searching for a shooter after they found a man dead in a car today near Lincoln Boulevard in Wyandotte Avenue. Breaking tonight, we've learned that the victim is Jacob Nevin. Action News Now reporter Christian Lopez sh uh, spoke with Nevin's family about what happened. I was on my way to work and my, I, my mom texted me and said that all she said to me was that my uncle was shot. Matthew Brown is coping with his uncle's loss after he was found shot inside a car in Oroville Tuesday morning. Oroville police say they found the man inside his car near this intersection. Police say the shooting happened right here on Lincoln Boulevard and Wyandotte Avenue, and you can see that there's a lot of nearby businesses. I've been out here talking to people who work in the area. Many did not want to go on camera, but they told me that this morning when they were on their way to work, this whole street right here was blocked off, and one man told me that he saw the body bag and the yellow car right over here by this blue building. He was just, like, all around a good guy. He used to, like... We used to ride dirt bikes and stuff together, quads. I don't, I don't really know exactly what happened or how it happened. All I know is that uh, he was a good guy and he didn't deserve that. Oroville police calling it an isolated incident and say there's no threat to the public. Oroville police says that they are still looking for the suspect. Reporting in Oroville, Christian Lopez, Action News Now coverage you can count on. Police are hoping somebody might have surveillance video of the shooting. So if you have any, please let Oroville PD know.